Hey, hi guys. So this is the part four of uh, building chatbots with Langchain. Uh, and in this video, we'll talk about this runnable with message history. There's only one final part that we want to figure out. Uh, basically, we learned about message histories. Uh, we learned about this chat message history. We learned about chat prompt template message placeholder in the last couple of videos. Now we'll put everything together and we'll actually, uh, you know, finish building the chatbot. So you're aware of these imports. We'll uh, learn about runnable with message history in this tutorial and mostly finish the chatbot. Uh, let's run these two cells. This is just the chat for 4 mini model. This is the parser we have, the string output parser. And this is the chat prompt template that we have. Uh, we have like a system message of how our chatbot will behave. We have a message pl placeholder uh, for holding the history. We have named this as uh, history messages. And then uh, finally we have the human message. Uh, we have named this input user message. So this is the latest message for which we'll want a response for after including the history as well. So uh, this is the prompt and uh, we form a chain with this. I'll just show you how we want to use this uh, runnable with message history. Uh, basically this is the chain and uh, we want a message history chat message history object to sort of get filled on the go in this chain. So uh, to do that, we use this runnable with message history. What we what it takes is it takes this chain, the normal chain that we have. And then uh, we have this second parameter with function. So this is like we'll uh, initialize this function. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what it does in a in a while. And this is the input message key. So this is the input user message that we will send when we invoke this chain. You can see like this input message will be passed here as well. So this is the basically, uh, you know, telling this chain that, hey, with whatever is present in this variable is the latest message from human or user message for which we want response. And this is the history message key. So whatever history is returned, so uh, this is the function f through which that we'll get our history, uh, the chat message history object. And uh, this is the key where we want to place the history. So if you see the prompt, this history message, this is the key where we want to replace the history with. Only this is the remaining function. We will add this function here as well. Let me just play paste it here and explain uh, what we are going to do. So in runnable with message history, the second parameter is the name of the function uh, which returns this chat message history object. So if you see, we are uh, sort of maintaining the, it works on these session IDs now. Uh, like uh, if you have used chat GPT, uh, there are like multiple chats that you can open. So this session ID, you can assume it to be like, like multiple chat windows each session ID corresponds to one single chat. So what we are going to do is we are going to maintain a store with the session ID as key and the value will be message history, chat message history object. So if a session ID, if we want to retrieve an, an object, uh, the chat message history object, we are going to key into session ID uh, in using the store and get this object. But uh, if uh, but we'll do this only if session ID is not present. If it is present, then already the message history was initialized and we'll just return that. So uh, basically, if we encounter a new session ID, we'll initialize this object, store, uh, store it in this store and return it. Otherwise, we'll just return whatever was stored, whatever, whatever session ID was stored before. And this way, we'll end up returning a chat message history object here. And this chat message history object will be used by this runnable with message history along with these keys to plug in the history automatically. So everything will happen like magic. But uh, I hope you understood like these two cells what it will do. It takes a normal chain and it uses the history that is returned by this function. So as, as and when chat is progressing, this history gets filled in, in this session ID. Let me just run these two cells. Runnable with chat mes message history, like when you, when we want to invoke this, uh, this chain, 
we invoke it like this so it's so first thing is we send the user message the input user message that we promised it which will go and be placed here like the most latest message from human uh, and this is the extra parameter that we are going to send just because we are using runnable with message history so whenever a chain is runnable with message history we can include this configurable exactly like this so that uh, it, it we can pass in the session id now using this session id it will fetch uh, the message history from the store if it is present so, uh, so, so b even before i even before i uh, you know run this chain let me just print store and show you what it is great so right now our store is empty now uh, you'll see like what will happen is when we uh, invoke this uh, chain with this session id and this is our input message let me just uh, invoke it great so what happened here is so this chain was passed and this chain is this so it takes the prompt passes it through chat passes it through parser and then we get this string output right and we have asked it what's wh what is my name so it doesn't have any context right now so it says like uh, i don't know the name etc etc but now one thing that happened is we called this chat with this session id now when i print the store you see it has a session id here as the key and it has this chat message history object as the value why uh, so what happened was uh, this function was triggered with session id 1 2 3 4 and since session id was not there in in the store before uh, a new message history object was in, in instantiated and then as soon as that was done uh, this is the message that was sent to our uh, through our chain and this is the response that we got and this message and this response was again stored back in the history so if you see this history for session id 1 2 3 4 it says human message is uh, what's my name and then there is ai message with the content i don't know the name etc etc this exact same sentence so now history is being stored here now what happens is next time when we call this again we invoke this with the same session id 1 2 3 4 and here if i say something like my name is yash so let's say it, it noted down my name now now it knows my name uh, now again let me print the store so again we have like one two three four session id itself we are working only on one session id right now and it uh, so, so you see like even this message got appended now so this what's my name and uh, i don't know this is from the previous turn and here if you see another human message got uh, appended again in the history so history keeps getting added as uh, as in when we invoke this chain because we have to we have wrapped this chain using runnable with message history it uses the history that that we get from here using the session id and these keys are used like to plug in the history and to give the input and this runnable with message history handles adding the message to the message history object <clears throat> so now uh, in the history it's saved uh, our name is saved so now let me ask like uh, what my name is and hopefully it will answer your name is yash did you forget already great so this is how it works and uh, if you if you think like system message is missed here uh, let me print the store again and show you so you see like uh, again the the last turn was again added what's my name and uh, your name is yes did you forget already great so if you if you feel like the system message is missing here it's not the case it's just that the system message is always here and whatever you see in the store is placed here uh, using the chat message history and the current input is replaced here so system message is always there it's it will always be savage like uh, it's asking us did you forget already so wait i think that, that is savage enough uh, yeah so that is about uh, you know like runnable with message history and that's how it it works like automatically adds history to the chat uh, like if you 
now if you ask it uh, what's my name but use a different session id let's say 1 2 3 it says i don't know because this is a another session id but now if you see the store there are two session ids that are created now so 1 2 3 a new session id has started and only this turn is present now what is my name and i don't know what's my name and i don't know etc etc right so as soon as we start a new session id we go to this function if the session id is not there in the store it will just instantiate a new message message history object and it will run normally run normally as in like it will append the the most recent turn of conversation because there is no history as such whereas if we reuse the previous session id it will just return it will not execute this this these two lines but it will just return the existing uh, history that is there so in one two three four case it will return everything all of this and then new turn of conversation will be added to this now one two three is also added so that will also work as is if if we reuse this session id so yeah like that's that's it like we can convert this make a nice function initialize chatbot and uh, you know actually have our chatbot running but uh, this is how it is like uh, we get a small functionality of uh, you know maintaining session ids as well uh, if you want uh, you can just make this function return like uh, a chat message history object which was initialized globally so uh, so this will not even work not even consider this session id that comes as input it will just return a global message history object and everything will basically be one session so if you want you can do that uh, if you want to make it simple uh, i'll give that as a homework if you want uh, it's actually like making it more simple rather than more complex so uh, it's it doesn't really fit the case of homework homework should be something that you do extra but uh, yeah you can take that as a homework and you, maybe you can implement that uh, is basically like removing some features rather than adding some features uh, but yeah definitely you can try it so that you know you, your understanding enhances uh, let's actually build the e-commerce chatbot as well that we have uh, built using openai sdk so uh, if you think about it like this was the system message basically it was it was a very uh, simple chatbot that we had built uh, let's reuse this piece of code so the system message that we will pass is this system message and uh, let's rerun our chain let's re reinitialize this uh, new chain that we have so that we take the updated chain here with the updated prompt and now we can invoke we can invoke this uh, uh, new chain that we have which is with message history uh, but this time we can say something like hi let's actually use the session id as one hey looking for something specific maybe shirt or pair of pants let me know so you see now now it's uh, again acting as if uh, it's trying to sell us something uh, because the system message works like that and then uh, or a bit more formal so it uh, now it knows that uh, we are talking about shirt let's ask it for pics i can't show pictures but i can describe the shirt for you we have urban explorer shirt and classic Oxford shirt. do you want to know about the urban explorer shirt okay uh, i'm not sure like uh, it had the links but uh, it didn't uh, share the links with us it's giving the names though maybe uh, like if we go one or two turns further it will give us the links as well but uh, you see like oh i made a spe spelling mistake that is still fine you s you see like here in this turn we didn't talk about shirts at all we just asked like can you show some pics and it knows we are talking about shirts because of the uh, you know the history and uh, just to see like if we print the store here some messages were earlier ones but uh, session id one is what we were using to talk to our e-commerce bot and if we see the store uh, in session id one in fact let's just uh, remove the noise and focus on one 
so uh, we see like here you see all the history that is there everything that we spoke this complete history goes when getting when generating the new response so yeah that is how the history is working and yeah this is how like the chatbot works it's uh, maybe not the cleanest way to display for the users but uh, you get the idea like how we can build it uh, and uh, this is not the end i'm thinking like uh, there will be one more part where we talk about some enhancements and uh, you know like why we even made it so complex why use langchain uh, if you if you think about it uh, using open ai sdk to build the chatbot was way simpler way straight forward and uh, using langchain is a bit complex you know like we had to learn all these uh, all these classes like runnable with message history all these templates and pre placeholders and all why go through all this uh, maybe in the next video it will be more clear like uh, we'll talk about some challenges that we can face while building chatbots and how how we can use langchain easily to overcome those challenges uh, so yeah that's about it uh, thanks for watching guys see you in the next video bye